Hey everybody, welcome to our track challenge. My name is Ben underscore Burns. Um, today we're going to be writing a song in two hours or less. Uh, I'm trying something different this uh, this year. Um, I'm recording this on the 10th, but it's going to go live on YouTube on the 14th. Um, and then the one on the 13th will go live on the 21st. The one on the 16th will go live on the 28th. Basically, I'm building a backlog for November because I'm doing the album in a month challenge again. And I'm trying to uh, I'm trying to find a way to organize stuff in a way that uh, both uh, allows me to continue doing the two-hour track challenges and, and have a consistent release schedule there, but also doesn't drive me crazy. So uh, we got the first one locked down. We'll see about the second one. Um, so I'm going to just hit the start button here. Uh, my goal is to mess with like Farlight and um, some of these other, some of these other Arcus, that's the name of it. Um, mess with these kind of pad generators more because I wanted to see if I can um, make some neat sounds with them. I'm not Monk says O. Oh. Uh, I'm not I'm not really uh, keyed in on anything in particular this time, but I have a feeling that's not how it's supposed to sound. I dig that a lot, actually. Yeah, so it'd be about 85 beats per minute. So this is weird for a couple of reasons. Uh, one, uh, we are doing a loop of seven bars, which is a little unorthodox. Uh, and second, I don't really know what scale this is in. <laughs> That's fine though. So I'm gonna go in here, see if I can muddle around with this a little bit. There we go. Kind of cuts off pretty harsh. I wonder why that is. frantic pedaling while I was trying to get everything. I have a feeling that this is on some kind of internal clock and it's resetting when it goes to back to the start of the song. I wonder if it's... Yeah, okay, so it's fine. Long term, it's fine. It just sounds weird when it's loop. looped. Um, I really like this as, an, as a... Um, where are we going with this, though? This this could end up really wild. Sinking a, a Shaksuka? Is that what it's called? Oh, what's it called? Like, people have suggested it on... Uh, I'm trying to remember the name of it now. I thought it was Shaksu Shaksuka, but I must be wrong. This isn't it, I don't think. Oh, it kind of is, actually. So if we drench this in, like, a bunch of uh, reverb, um, I think we should get some pretty cool sound.
Yeah, okay. So... I want to make that feel a little bit less natural because this this ohm sound is is very unnatural sounding. Um, obviously, it's derived from real recordings, but it, it's run through a lot of stuff. So I wanted to give this a little bit of a bite too. Anyway, I, I didn't even say hello to everybody. Hi, everybody. How are you? I I kind of jumped right into it today, and that's uh. It's kind of been my vibe lately, but um, I hope you're all doing okay. Uh, happy Sunday. Sunday evening. The worst part of the week. Because <laughs> then you have to go back to work tomorrow. Um, hey, Twiggly. It's been a minute since I've seen you in chat. I hope you're doing well. I'll get your piano in just a second. Ooh, it's a little... Let's try this. <clears throat> How have you been, Twiggly? okay this last month has been really rough but things are better <laughs> I should say um I've been kind of sitting on this Pondemonium soundtrack. I, I've been meaning to get this released uh, because it's all piano stuff. I think you'll, I think you'd really enjoy this. Um, I just need to like release the game, which, you know, sometimes is easier said than done. But uh, I'm really looking forward to getting that out there. Hey, Jake. Yeah. soundtrack and the album art for it oh no jank you should get on that you're you're like an art master now <clears throat> speaking from experience on the other end of that situation make the dang album art please because <laughs> not releasing an album is the worst especially if it's all done Not to tell you how to live your life or anything. Yeah. Remember to save. It's not, ne yeah, it's not necessarily about whether or not he cares. It's just the fact that you should probably just get it done, you know? Um, but yeah, I'm not, I'm not here to... I'm not your mom, so you you do whatever you want to do, but um, I'm just speaking from experience on the other end of that situation. It really sometimes stinks to be like, oh man, this album was done a long time ago, and I can't, I'm not, I'm not here to make you feel bad, I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, yeah, see? You leveled up, man. You, you, you can do a lot of cool stuff now. I believe in you. Um... So this is, like I said, this is kind of weird because it is a seven bar loop, which I like. Um, but I want to figure out, like, what kind of drums would we do with this? Like, one of the things that bothered me last season in the two hour track challenge is I relied on splice a lot. And that's not a bad thing. 
I just want to rely on it less. I think that it's a great tool for overcoming creative blocks. And I'm still going to go in here and see if there's like a good 85 bupums minimal loop kind of thing. See, this is all stuff that I own. Yes. <laughs> yeah, see? This is this is actually kind of perfect because it's it has that organic feel to it, but it just doesn't feel natural. Oh, is the same buddy that did the the sample? Okay, so I think that's cool, but I want to uh, clean it up a little bit more. Uh, quarter notes. Okay, much better. Um, we'll donk this into a loop. Again, this loop is going to be a little weird. Actually, maybe maybe it won't be weird. Let's just go like this. So it'll kind of get off beat. I'm not I don't really want to dive into like crazy polyrhythms right now, but having something that just kind of phases in and out of uh what we expect it to be is kind of cool. So maybe instead of this being a 7 bar loop, it's a 14 bar loop. I'm in a weird mood today. Um, yeah. I mean, I, I rely on this 808 kit a lot, but I really like it. Mm, I don't know if it's the right... I don't know if it's the right jam this time around, though. Actually, that works pretty well. We can throw a little bit of bit crushing on that, and I think that that'll be uh, pretty solid. So is it possible to tune this? Okay, well, we can... I'm always hesitant to put Max for Live stuff on here. Um, even though I know it's not as unstable as it was. I thought there was a... Oh, I must not have installed it for 11. Um... There's something that like turns any knob into an LFO and I was going to like subtly noodle around with this, but honestly, it's going to be just like this. So go like this, go like this, go like this. Hey, we did it, everybody. What's the, uh, the, um, the you suck at cooking thing, uh, in block dough. Good job, everybody. So, where are we going with this song, like, thematically? Yeah, I like how ominous this sounds too, Jake. I know last stream we were talking about maybe continuing the spoken word-ish story that uh, we had generated. And I don't think that this will really fit that vibe, which is fine. Like, that was, that was a neat idea, and maybe it's one of those things we can come back to at some point in the future. But, um, like, I feel like this is... I 
also like the fact that the snare is um Uh, I want to add another layered snare to this. Not, not a drum machine snare though. Honestly, you know, a brushed drum snare, brushed drum snare, uh, is probably a little too much in the other direction. So we can take this, and then I really just want to clip off. Clip out the mids, I think. You just really want that. Uh... And then we'll turn this into a two bar loop. I did this before and then I undid it. Now I'm going to redid it. There we go. That other snare is so tight in both the um, musical definition as well as the slang definition. Um, so I'm going to really try to crank this, see if we can get a good sound out of it. Excuse me. If I do makeup, it's going to be real, be real loud. Hmm. Okay. Um kind of rethinking things here. Because I really like how the processing on this is. So I might take this sample. I can't just drag it out of here, can I? Um, okay, it's still here. I'm going to go like this. This way I have more control over it. Oh, I lost my compressor. It's okay. We have returned. New skill requires specific... Agents and moods. Yeah. Yeah, man. Um, treat it kindly. <laughs> because it can leave for indeterminate periods of time. But yes, it is a great skill to have where you just have to have that level of willpower to be like, let's get this done. Um... But yeah, it's it's super valuable. Okay, so I think this should sound better because now we have effects on. Aside from obnoxiously loud. So I think what we can do here is we've kind of established this idea. Uh, we can kind of turn it around a little bit. So right now we're here. Well, let's use the right instrument. Yeah, a little bit, man. I, I agree with you. I'm trying to go. That's like some Metroid Prime stuff right there. Um, uh, 
Uh, this is from Farlight. This is called Monk Says O. Oh. Hey, Acidic, thank you so much, man. It's been a while since I've seen you in chat. Everybody's coming out of the woodwork. I need to stream more often at weird times because I know my streaming schedule is a bit wonky sometimes. Uh, I hope you've been doing well. Sounds like you've been kicking butt lately. Yeah. I, I catch uh, I catch your stuff on, I believe it's on Twitter. Yeah, planning extra life stuff. Yeah, I've been catching your stuff on Twitter once in a while. It sounds like you've been, yeah, man, that's crazy. Super, you should be super proud of that. So I'm not sure where this song is going yet, but we've got, <laughs> got two minutes of it already, so we need to. Bro, oh, these softwares is so good. Which softwares are you using? Yeah, things have been going all right. It's been busy, but nothing I can't handle. Well, that's kind of a lie. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I love I love some of these. So Farlight Farlight's beautiful. Um Arcus is also really pretty. Um and then I'm slightly ashamed to admit it, but thankfully it was a good piece of software, but Thermal is just this really really pretty um has this really wonderful interface that I fell in love with before I even knew what it did. <laughs> So that was kind of a risky purchase, but it paid off. Um, I really like Thermal, though. It's it's a great piece of software. Okay, we need to we need to mess with the volumes a little bit here. Things are a bit too loud. But um That's going to sound boss. Oh, I forgot how words worked. Um That's going to sound real good. I don't know why I use compressor uh, as a like a gain stage. Yeah. save uh so i kind of messed that up a little bit but it's okay it's the magic of computers that oh okay let's uh line that up properly why i keep doing little yeah thumbnailing illustrations well a buddy of mine well you know shaka panda um shaka always says that if you want to do thumbnailing do like one by one inch thumbnails because they take literally 10 seconds and that allows you to iterate very very quickly um, i thought that that was really good advice and even though i don't really do uh, that kind of stuff 
uh, it sounds like it would be very helpful. real fast and loose today. <laughs> kind of a resolution, like a breath here. So how does this song iterate? Like, where does this song go? We've got this kind of cool stopping point here that where we can like bring in some new stuff. So I'm trying to figure this song out visually. Like it, it sounds like you're exploring some kind of tomb or catacomb. And while that's spooky, that doesn't necessarily mean that there's any drama and there doesn't have to be drama in this case. Um, I'm just uh, I'm just trying to figure out, you know, for some reason, this might sound dumb. Um, for some reason, I'm thinking of a dulcimer, which does not fit this style, but maybe that's what makes it so great. I don't know if this will work. I need a different dulcimer. This one was not recorded in the best. Maybe I don't have another one? Oh, because this is contact six. Okay, because I'm a big old stinky dummy. There we go. Oh, maybe I don't have another one. Oh, no. Oh, no. It's fine. Oops. That's definitely not a dulcimer. Um... 
let's let's do this correctly because sometimes contact is dumb um okay room ambient so close is all the way off we can just actually use the ambient one Ugh. okay so go in here we gotta edit this crap um Wave editor. Not wave editor. Where's my where's my ADSR? I just want to tone back the uh, the release on this because it's so harsh. Maybe it won't let me edit all groups. I never, ugh, I always click the wrong thing. I, I never know what's like allowed and what isn't allowed when it comes to this stuff. Sometimes this stuff is controlled internally and because right now if I let go of the button, it just instantly stops. And that sounds bad. <laughs> um, but I don't really have an option to mess with the release for these. So I guess it's not going to work. Um, I mean, there's other, there's other hammered instruments. Like I just was thinking of a dulcimer because hammered kettles, all our hammer. I don't think we're going to find what we're looking for though. <laughs> Anyone who want to make a action movie trailer? Okay. Um, that's okay. I mean, we could totally put that in there too. That would actually be pretty rad uh, to like really switch things up. Um, yeah, actually, that works really well. Thank you, random note or random instrument that I just pulled out of nowhere. Um, hoping for a little bit more motion on that i guess that's it's reliant on this sequence then huh hmm there's no way i can uh i don't think i can um automate that Hey, Jink. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do the same thing I did with the other thing. Um, can I do noise? I can do noise. Oh, no, this is an ADSR curve. <laughs> I was like, oh, it's pretty cool that I can do noise in here. Um... I don't think this is actually affecting this though. Crud. So yeah, I'm trying to to catch you up, Jank. I'm trying to figure out uh, where this song is going, like narratively, because I like where it is contextually, like how it sounds. But
yeah, I'm just trying to figure figure out uh Yeah, I mean, we could definitely go with the more um kind of dark ambient stuff. The upright bass does help with that, that's for sure. I mean, really, we could be like, oh, the song's done, 30 minute challenge. <laughs> I'm not gonna do that though. Oof, that's loud. Exercises. Yeah, I worry about that kind of stuff for myself as well, where it's like, oh man, I could do this, and I could do this, and I could do this, and then all of a sudden I've overburdened my schedule. And there's just nothing, nothing for me to do when I tend to kind of burn out. So I think that it's great to like have that focus, but also like you know, be careful. Yeah. Bend, huh? Now it's there, it's just like yeah, that's good. Yeah. Yeah, I'm still trying to figure that out, Jank, so you're you're ahead of me there. <laughs> I feel like we're we're in a good position to transition this song into something else. Um Remember to save. Everybody remember to save. Need something like Yeah, it's like we could totally ramp things up a little bit. Um, just trying to figure out um, if that's the right way to go. And I think that once we figure out like the name for this song and and some of that other stuff, that'll. Dungeon Toots. I actually really like this sound, but I don't want to just use the default for pigments.
Which, that really shouldn't stop me, but... Oof, way too much. I do like this incubation, I think this is nice. So it, it kind of goes from this really... I kind of like the idea of this making kind of a full switch into something else, you know? I don't know. It's kind of weird, but I think that it works with this kind of song. These are, yeah. I'm also going to put just a slight randomization on the uh, pitch for these. Just to keep things a little bit. I don't know about Dungeon Toots. I don't know if that's really the right vibe. Um, but I like where your head's at. Keep at it, champ. Someday. I know. So we're built tension bloops. It's closer. Yeah, see this is this is what I was thinking. It's like you can get this really ominous catacombs. Haha, <laughs> cuz cuz I like cats. Um actually that's that's a pretty good one. The cat catacombs. had a really dumb idea, which I don't think I'm going to do, but um, now I have to, now I have to, uh, also cats, yes, <laughs> I think it was this one. I want to do that because it's so dumb. It's so dumb. Somebody please stop me. We can't. We can't do this, can we? That's this isn't legal. <laughs> oh 
don't know. Um, oh, what was I looking for? Let's like take one of these and just stretch it to going down this road, huh? I mean, I've done dumber things. <laughs> I guess catacombs uh, is the pun of choice tonight. Um... I actually, I really like that. Because it's so dumb. I need to do more dumb things. Um, so, yeah. Yep. So, we go from this. Once it's done saving. Ableton's been kind of wonky lately. I think my hard drive's dying. I have stuff backed up and saved, so it's not that big of a deal, but it's still kind of frustrating. So yeah, we can build off this. <laughs> okay, song name. I'm trying to be better, more diligent with uh with like having the season and episode and stuff up there. I don't know if that helps literally anybody, but maybe it helps me in the future. Future Ben might appreciate it. I don't know. Um So these kind of kind of all roll out like this. People shouldn't let me have dumb ideas like this. This isn't <laughs> this isn't safe for anybody. Um I say that jokingly. I can do whatever I want obviously, but
So now we need a big snare, huh? This song's so dumb. I need to do more dumb things. This this is what makes me happy. Making music. Okay, I think I'm actually gonna go to Vengeance, because those have some good big process snares. Um like doing doing dumb stuff is my favorite thing in the world. And I need to do it more often. Um snares. These are a little too processed, huh? That was not bad. We'll see. Um. Yeah, exactly. I think I think that not enough value gets placed on doing that kind of stuff. And you know, it's it's sad that people are being like, "I'm an artist. I'm serious." I have to do serious art or nobody will take me seriously. And it's like, well, yeah, if you want to be boring. Um, I, it's, I, I'm just like... Taking a dumb pun and just turning it into something even dumber is like my kind of jam. <laughs> So basically all I'm doing is I'm I'm kind of just messing with stuff right now. Um I think I want to do a little bit of oscillation on this too. Not a lot, just enough to kind of get it wiggling. Safe. I'm gonna bring the volumes of the volume of the hats up a little bit. Okay, so one thing that I've been meaning to do more of, and this is something I was listening to some of my older two-hour track challenges yesterday. Um, I tended to have two snares, one being the ghost snare, something that helps reinforce the melody but doesn't necessarily get in the way. Um, and then another one that like reinforces the twos and the fours. I just like keep hitting the flipping Windows key or Alt key. Yeah, see, this th these ghost snares actually contribute quite a lot to um, just defining the rhythm, even though they're not as prominent as some of the other stuff in the in the song. It's still really valuable. Um, and I don't think I'm going to be doing the, I appreciate that, Jank. And it's it's one of those things where I did a lot, like, back in season eight, and then it kind of just fell by the wayside. Like, um, what song was I listening to? 
I think I was listening to um we've got plenty of time for this one, so I wanna I wanna actually make an example out of this. I think I was listening to Lenny Face. Yeah, so we have the, the big chunky snare. But you also have these higher snares. Oh, that's the one break that doesn't have it. But at the end you have this like big roll of ghost snares. Yeah. And that like that um interplay between like the big snare and this kind of like ancillary snare actually helps quite a bit. And I noticed that that was panned, so I'm gonna pan this one too. Um I'm just gonna put an auto pan on it. That sounds really cool. Okay. It's an Ableton plugin. Okay, what did I just open that locked me out of Ableton? I hit this and then space. Oh, it wanted me to type something in. Um, apparently, I am no longer allowed to use my keyboard. Because I'm going to, like, accidentally open butts.com or something. Um, so Autopan is essentially, in Ableton, in Ableton terms, it is a volume modulator for the left and the right channel. You can see that the, like, right here, L is left, R is, or R is orange, uh, L is blue. So it's basically lowering the volume of right while raising the volume of left uh, and then swapping it. And you can change the shapes of this stuff. So essentially what it's doing here, let me let me put this on a different instrument so it's way easier to hear. Um, and I, I believe most software has something like this. Obviously, if you don't have headphones, it's not going to... But you hear kind of going back and forth. I can make it more prominent like this. So yeah, it's it's essentially a, a, a way to tie the left and right uh, signal outputs to an LFO uh, if you wanted to get technical about it. Um, uh, if there isn't, you could probably make one fairly easily. Uh, it's, it's a fairly universal thing. Um, I'm putting some uh, chorusing on this to give it some just more interesting phasing. I think that'll help. doesn't like something that's going on.
Okay, well, let's give this a save. We'll uh, we'll play through it. Oh, we're an hour in. We've got, like, most of a song. I like that. But we can also we can also continue to move forward on this narrative that we have here. So this is like the start of this is navigating or getting to the catacombs in the dark jungle. And then you finally make it there. And you're like, oh, it's literally the catacombs. And you're like, oh, this is weird. <laughs> kind of fleshing stuff out. not going to never laugh at that. Not going to. I'm always going to laugh at that. <laughs> it's too dumb. <laughs> This is getting a little too much. I like that it, it was added here, but we can just bring it back down. We can just bring it back down. this song going now so we've uh we've entered the catacombs which are full of meows for some reason um it kind of built a little bit in tension and i like the idea that it kind of grows to this and it's just like yeah we can go like this how about this
do like having some echo on that, but it was like obnoxious before. Put it like this. that out like this. Oh, too far. There we go. No, that was... Oh, okay. That's right. Oops, another, another one there. I think I closed these out, yeah, so I don't need any of this anymore. Um, hmm. Oops, I'm gonna copy paste. Remember to save. As always, stellar timing. Uh, remember to save, everybody. I hope that whatever project you're working on gets saved. kind of a kind of a flub there but flipping neighbor's dog you probably can't hear that but the neighbor's dogs are like howling can't hear that you can't hear it but i i feel super bad because like i don't think they're in pain but they're definitely in distress and it's like i can't do anything they do that a lot their neighbors dogs i feel bad We have some pretty crummy neighbors when it comes to uh, how they handle their pets. We have one neighbor that just leaves their cat out overnight, every night. And uh, that tends to aggravate our cats. But, like, what do you do? You don't want to just, like, capture the cat and send it to the Humane Society. Because that's like, that's like a terrible neighborly thing to do, for one. And two, you don't want to do that to the cat, because, you know, the cat's just doing cat stuff.
Here we go. So where are we going with this now? Hit save, so it's gonna take a second for it to catch up. <laughs> One thing that this uh, could benefit from is a wider. Push it out in the stereo with the or stereo uh, spectrum a bit. Um, yeah, I'm not really sure where we're going now. I like this song though. I think it's real cool. Kind of like the idea of just kind of riffing off of wherever we're going, though. Like we'll just we'll just stick with these bits and see what happens. Okay, I'm thinking one thing we can do here is I know we have some gong sounds, and I think that that would work really well here. Um, I'm somewhere. Yeah. It's okay. It, it ain't your job to be here. Um... I, of course, appreciate that you are here, but, you know. I like that you're here, too. get there we go just a little bit of lead in um actually I should have done that differently that's okay I 
So I'm not really sure where I'm going with this song next. We're just kind of smoothing out the edges in the front, and then we're just going to keep moving in the back. I have a big cut on my hand. I don't know how well that comes through, but it's just like whenever I bend my hand, it's a... Uh, or it reminds me that it's there. So it's like we have this section and then it kind of eases back off. <laughs> nice. So let's do this correctly. All right, let's do this correctly. Let's actually do it correctly instead of wrong. There we go. It's like some kind of cool like lead or build up or something. Um and I don't think a bass is the right way to go. I'm also curious if this gong will also work here. Yeah, it works pretty well there actually.
I got sidetracked. What was I doing? <laughs> oh yeah, I was gonna. I um. I don't think a massive base is gonna work here, but I like the idea of uh having something that like kind of ramps up. from almost nothing to, to basically be that. Except down like 70 octaves. Also helps if I use the right uh, That could actually work really well. Let's uh, throw an LFO on here. Give it a, give it a little reason to move. Uh, turn off that. Lower. Okay. And then just straight up automate the whole thing so it, it kind of fades in over time. Remember to save. Cool. Okay. So I'm not I'm not I've been saying this a lot lately, but I'm not sure where we're going with this. Also, hey everybody, remember to save your progress. If you're working on something and you're hanging out with me. I appreciate that. But you gotta save. If you don't save, you'll lose what you worked on, and then you'll be sad. Do you want to be sad? I don't want you to be sad. Okay, let's actually put a little bit more juice on this. We can uh, throw a bit crusher and uh, uh, parabolic shapers, like some drum. So we got we got a good vibe. I just need to 
I mean, we got 30 minutes. Uh, this song could totally fade out right here too. Like, so we're just we're just uh, we're filling it out. We're we're messing around and just kind of seeing what happens. So I'm not I'm not super worried. Um, you can take a little piano break though. Nothing wrong with that. I like that chord. getting better at forming like chords into cohesive phrases but I still feel like I need to do better at using my left hand to kind of motivate my right hand to do stuff it's getting there anyway where were we something random in here see what happens let's get weird I have no idea what this sounds like that's just the way I like it. well like that it, it really kind of puts a lot of motion in the high end which I dig
bunch of notes when you can have two. I think we need another layer of drums on here. I think I'm just gonna uh, drop in a ride cymbal because that's my go-to for when I don't know what to do. And it usually works, so, you know, no complaints. Hope everybody's having a good evening. I, uh, I do enjoy a good evening stream. I, uh, I've been kind of out of it lately when it comes to streaming, and I want to get back into it. It's really, really focused on my motivation and my, like, mental state. Yeah, so I think we can loop this uh, two more times, maybe three more times. Let's just go like this here. Uh, I think we need a stronger, uh, stronger snare to to tie the room together. But we'll go like this. And we'll find a, a better, probably, probably a more um, electronic snare. So let's bounce back to the Vengeance stuff because I am a lazy boy. And we'll find something... This actually works pretty well. Yeah, they named a whole chair line after me, you know? That's better. Still needs to be tight. So we need some kind of uh, some kind of aggression here. I was thinking something very dumb and have the meow synth. Get like aggressive somehow. <laughs> um I like this one better. what this does. Just choosing stuff at random, you know? Doesn't 
doesn't seem to be affecting it a whole lot. There we go. That's a little too much. Oh, I still want that though. kind of weird, but not what I'm looking for. Failed Bites. Reanimator. Yeah, we're reanimating the cat. There we go. CPU does not enjoy this combination of instruments. <laughs> remember to save. Hey everybody, remember to save. Right? Kind of like this is the end right here. Yeah? No? Yeah? No? I don't know. This is a weird one. I like it. Okay, let's listen to this in its entirety from, like, here. Because basically, we're just trying to figure out if this flows well. I feel like we can ease off the... Redux.
Kind of just reinforce the whole melodic idea for this. Um, lower the volume on it, though. I think we're good. Are we good? I think we're good. I'm going to tone back home as well. Well, we did it. Uh, let me do a quick uh, mix master on like this. Excuse me, this bit. I like the narrative that in the catacombs you unleashed the cats <laughs> and they're like locust and they just go everywhere. <laughs> it's very dumb. There's a low pass on here. Okay, good. Yoink. Okay, I do need to get back to the loud bit for a second. I'm going to go over here. Okay. Needs a little tweaking, but I think we should be okay if we just go like this. It's actually pretty even throughout, which is okay. Now we're done. Hey guys. Thanks for hanging out. I really appreciate it. Um, I'm pleased with how the song came out. 15 minutes ahead of schedule, but that's all right. Um, yeah, so I, I talked about this a little bit at the start of the stream, but at the, um, basically what I'm gonna try to do is I'm trying to build a little bit of a backlog because this November, I'm doing the album in a month challenge and I don't want to be writing an entire album while also doing weekly uh, two hour track challenge streams. Um, I will still have music streams, but I won't be doing um, the two hour track challenge. I'll just be working on the album on those music streams. Um, and yeah, so basically this song will come out on YouTube and whatnot on the 14th uh, for Patreon. It'll be released on the 13th. And then the two-hour track challenge that I do on the 13th will be released on the 21st. The one on the 16th will be released on the 28th. And so on and so forth throughout November. Um, and even if, I, even if I have a backlog of like two of these, it'll really ease a lot of pressure off of me while I work on the album. Uh, and then December should get back to normal. Um, we do have episode 300 of the two hour track challenge happening on the 22nd. This, uh, the 300th song will be happening this Saturday. There's a little bit of a disparity because I didn't stream a lot of the first songs. So there's more songs than there are episodes. It's a little weird, um, but it's just the way things work. So I am gonna get going. And again, guys, thank you so much for hanging out. I really genuinely appreciate it. Um, this was a fun song and I'm really happy that it came together in the way that it did. Um, in the meantime, have a good rest of your Sunday. Um, I will be back Monday morning. I have Monday off. 
uh, due to Indigenous Persons Day. Um, I will be doing a little bit of a stream to chop up samples. Um, and I'm just, I need to get my voice ready because I have to do like audiobook recording and I can't do that straight out the gate when I wake up. So I'll probably stream for like an hour or so before then. Anyway, hope you have a fantastic evening. I will talk to you later. Take care. Sky Piercer is live on Deezer. Thanks, DistroKid. Never used that service. Yes, I know I'm still live. I'm talking to you, not myself. Um, anyway, now I'm going to go. See you guys later. <laughs>